Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here bringing you guys another NHL 17 challenge video. We are going to be seeing what would happen if a team of defensemen took on a team of forwards. So I did the Predators and the Penguins, the two Stanley Cup teams, and uh, basically got all the best forwards in the game and all the best defensemen in the game. So I'm not going to be playing this one. This is going to be a CPU versus CPU game. But this is what we got. Um, as you can see, you can probably tell which team has the defenseman and which team has the uh, the forwards. So the forwards are Pittsburgh and the defense is Nashville. So, oh, wait, no, CPU versus CPU. I got to do the, all this over again. But um, but let's see if we need 200 likes this episode. I know we can do it. So go ahead, hit that like button, show that love and support, and subscribe and join the Dorsal family if you feel ever so kind we're going to change uh some settings up uh, the camera i want to be true broadcast since we will be watching it not playing it and now we'll go to quick settings we'll keep uh the time uh we'll just do superstar i don't know if that changes simulation uh we'll do competitive and i think that's it okay actually we'll do full sim and i will go into the settings myself and change the time to four minutes. Okay. I'm not playing, so it doesn't really matter what the settings are to me. But I want the defense, the defenseman to win. That's definitely who I'm rooting for. Uh, I expect the forwards to win, but if it's the defenseman, it will definitely be interesting. But I did do this challenge before. I did try recording it. Oh. Okay, I did try recording it, but I'm, can I, yeah, yes, I'm sure. And um, there were some audio issues in my first attempt to record this, which sucked, but um, I'm doing it again anyway, because I thought it was an interesting challenge, and it's definitely something I don't mind watching again. It was fun to watch, but um, one thing I did want to say is I wanted to thank you guys so much for the support you guys have been giving me on the channel and with these videos. You guys have definitely seemed to be enjoying them. And the Dorsal family has been growing as well because of them. So I want to thank you guys very much for your love and support. It does mean a lot to me. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And um, also the other thing was I don't know how easy it's going to be for me to keep uploading challenge videos every day. I do want to keep doing it. But it's just really tough because there's a lot of editing involved with these. So, um, so yeah. But um, I do want to keep them going, definitely. Because um, they are a lot of fun. But I do want to try and do at least, you know, two to three, maybe four a week. But I do have other Let's Plays that you guys enjoy, like the Dorsal Fin Road to the Show, um, Be a Pro, Franchise, um... But there are a couple I'm thinking about stopping just because I feel like um, they don't do as well as the other uh, Let's Plays on my channel. But I do plan on starting them back up once NHL 18 comes out. And those Let's Plays that I'm thinking about ending are the Plow Be a Pro and Doug Glatt Be a Pro. I do still want to do um, the Dorsal Finn Be a Pro and I don't know if I'll continue the Flyers franchise. I think I will, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but just, it's only because, you know, if I'm going to be doing these so often, you know, all these other Let's Plays are, you know, it's going to be hard to keep rotating all these different Let's Plays because of, you know, there's other things out there too. And the Power Pros did really well the first episode of that, and you guys definitely seem to enjoy that. I did, I don't think I read one negative comment on those videos. So thank you guys for that. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was de it's definitely a fun game, so I do want to upload that a lot. And look at that, the defenseman. Wow, one zip. But, um, all right, good stuff. We'll go ahead and skip this now. Actually, I'm just going to put my controller right there. But, um, 
So yeah, that's basically all. So just the basically NHL Let's Plays I would be ending. But I would still be doing these challenges, and I want to do them for MLB too. So, so yeah. But um, I think that's uh pretty much it for if any uh, for Let's Plays ending. Um, what else was there that I wanted to talk about? I don't think that was it. Um, yeah, I don't think so. But I still want to do franchise. Uh, in MLB. I do want to keep doing MLB challenges, though. Um, they're not doing as well as my NHL, but they're, the NHL's definitely what's been getting a lot of the uh, attention here on the channel, which I'm okay with. I do enjoy them. There's definitely, I think, a lot more to do with the NHL uh, challenges, but um, but I need some ideas. If I want to keep these videos fresh, I definitely need some some of the ideas but um as you guys saw in the last challenge video well i'm assuming this will be the one that comes after the one i uploaded on thursday i'm recording this wednesday so or tuesday wait hold on i gotta think now yeah then the one i uploaded on wednesday i'm recording this tuesday um the one that i uploaded on tuesday was definitely not as planned i'm not saying i'm not going to say if it was successful or not but i will say it did not go the way i thought it would um, I'm not going to say if it was a good thing or a bad thing, but it was not how I thought it would go. So it turned out being a lot different. Uh, so hopefully you guys won't be too upset with how that challenge worked out. You guys will know what I mean once you see the outcome. But um, some other challenge ideas that I've had from you guys were, uh, can I win a game without shooting? So I can only like pass the puck into the net, deke it into the net. I did try that twice earlier today, and I only scored once in both attempts. Uh, well, once in the one attempt and none in the other. So, uh, it, I definitely want to try it again, and, but I might upload it whether I'm successful or not. So, that's the deal with that. And uh, what uh, what else was there? There was, um, can I win a game without skating? So, basically, the guy with the puck cannot move. So, think of, like, Ultimate Frisbee. It would be like that. Everyone else can obviously move because I can't control them. But um, you, you'd have to, like pass it or get a guy in or hope a guy gets into position uh until you can shoot the puck so i thought that would be a really interesting idea you know how everyone else kind of like ultimate frisbee how everyone else can move around except for the guy with the puck so kind of like an ultimate frisbee everyone can move except for the guy with the frisbee so kind of like that so it'd be like ultimate hockey i guess you could say um i don't know what difficulty i would try that on but uh, it sounds like a pro semi pro challenge i think it's i don't think it's hard enough for a rookie but um i only like doing rookie challenges if it's something really difficult or something that i like don't think can be done on a higher difficulty or just something that like involves a lot of points like the can i win a game can i can i score 100 goals in a game um but after one, it's one nothing defenseman, so the team that I want to win is winning, so that's pretty good. Definitely unexpected, but it works for me. I'm happy with it. Um, and what other challenge ideas did I have? Or did, well, not just me. Oh, yeah, one person commented. Um, I, I said this on the Great Britain uh, challenge video that I did yesterday. Uh, well, I don't know when this is going to come out. I plan to get this out Thursday, but I'm not sure. Um but on the Great Britain versus Canada challenge, I, I also talked about this one of how um, a great job with the scoreboard there of how uh, someone said they wanted me to do 99 overall goalie with zero overall skaters against zero overall uh, against a zero overall goalie and 99 overall skaters. So. Uh, there is no zero overall in this game. The lowest overall a player can be is 36. So instead it would be 36 overall, not zero overall. But still, it's definitely a challenge I want to do. The only bad thing about it is how long it would take to make all those players and set up those rosters because that's... I don't need to make both goalies. So, excuse me. But, um, well, actually I might just in case one of them end up getting pulled. But, um, so I might have to just make both goalies. It's only two extra players. But that's 20 guys on each team that I'd have to make. So it would be difficult. But, um, 
it would definitely, I think, be worth uh, doing it. So I do want to do that challenge. I plan to just create a couple guys a day until we get them all done. I don't want to make them all in one day. That would take a long time. And um, and I just I have really bad patience. So definitely not something I think I have the patience for. But um, other challenges that people gave me were um, I'm trying to think of them all. Uh, can I win a game without skating? Can I win a game without shooting? Uh, what else is there? Uh, I know one person, a couple people actually, I think, have been saying, can I win a game using only goalies? Unfortunately, you can't just have a team of goalies. I wish that was the case. That would be awesome. It would be really funny if you could have goalies play and they were still in their pads. That would be really funny. Uh, one idea I do have, and if you guys have any ideas for it, please let me know. I want to do a challenge with a female character. I thought that would be pretty cool and pretty entertaining. So, you know, basically what you would do is, uh, I, I don't know, like I'm trying, I was trying to think, like maybe make a female character with very low attributes and see if they could score on a 99 overall goaltender. And um, what I want to do was see if I could do a challenge if a girl could beat someone in a fight, like some hockey player, I, I, I don't know who, but just see if a girl could win a fight against someone. And um, the only thing is you can't, a girl can't fight in this game. It doesn't let you, which is understandable because, you know, I'm sure a lot of people would be complaining to EA, a lot of parents, about how, you know, girls can fight in this game. So, and, you know, girls are getting, you know, fought by boys. So I can understand that and how EA wouldn't want to uh, deal with that, which is, you know, I can respect that. That's definitely something I wouldn't want to deal with either. I don't think it's something that... Um, you know, for a game rated E10, not something that they should put in the game. But um, but I just didn't think about that being the case. I thought you would be able to do so. So just something that didn't cross my mind. But I do want to do some kind of challenge with a girl. And j just, you know, because I think it would be kind of funny and interesting. And uh, also just something challenging, you know, like to make uh, the girl's attributes really bad just for the sake of making it an actual challenge. So me, all right, sorry about that. People are screaming outside my hallway. But um, the other thing was, um, what was I talking? Oh, yeah, the girl uh, challenge. I just think it would be interesting to make it an actual challenge and also make it kind of entertaining and funny and um, and cool. So that that's the deal with that. I, I think maybe what we'll do is see if a 36 overall girl can score on a 99 overall goalie. I think that will be it. I think that will be the challenge. I think that will be pretty, pretty entertaining, pretty interesting. And, um, yeah, I think you guys will enjoy that as well. I think I got myself a new challenge idea. <laughs> um, and what, what other ideas were there that I had? Um, the, there was one that I thought of. I, I don't know if I thought of this or if someone suggested it, actually. Um... I can't remember, but if someone did suggest this, uh, please comment if you're watching, because uh, I can't remember if I saw this or if I came up with it. But there, but one uh, idea that, or one, you know, challenge idea that came to mind, whether again I came up with it or someone else told me, would be to um, win a game with only defensemen being able to shoot the puck so forwards could not shoot um that was one idea i had and then other ones were like when a game using only slap shots or wrist shots and i would probably do that on like pro or all-star um i don't do i don't like to do any on superstar because i'm not good that good at this game i only play on all-star when it comes to uh like franchise mode i don't play any higher than all-star i don't think a lot of people do really uh end of the second though and it's it's still one nothing isn't it wow okay pretty quiet period but um but yeah i'm always taking ideas you know we got to keep these challenges fresh and exciting so if you guys have any please be sure to leave them in the comments hello and um and yeah like i don't know what other uh, challenge like I kind of want to do some in franchise I know a lot of there are some youtubers wow tie game all right that was a nice goal I got to give it to the forwards there 
about tying they did something. I don't even know if they really came close. But, um, like, I want to do some franchise challenges. Like, one idea would, I had was um, putting, like, Great Britain in, Fran like, as a, a uh, expansion team and seeing how they would do compared to everyone else. Um, what else was there? Um, I thought about doing a playoff mode and substituting all the teams with national teams. Since you can't really, since in World Cup of Hockey you can't substitute teams, and Great Britain isn't one of those teams, and try to win the uh, the cup with Great Britain. So I thought that would be pretty pretty fun to do. Um, I think those were. I want to say that was it for uh, ideas I had. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other ideas I could think of. Um, what else was there? But, like, I do want to do some kind of franchise, like, challenges. Um, like, like, what would happen if this guy wasn't on the team? Um, like, maybe would the Penguins be good without Crosby? Or would, you know, or would the, or would the Penguins be good without Malkin and Crosby? Um, something like that. But, um... But yeah, those are just things that have come to mind. So I do want I don't want to do any fantasy draft challenges anymore. Uh, they were fun, don't get me wrong, but um, I don't think a lot of people really had the attention span for them. I feel like a lot of people probably skipped through the videos because uh, I mean they did take a while. They were like 20 minute videos with really nothing happening except simulating and you know uh, the draft. That, that was probably the most entertaining part of the video was the draft and then the end to see what would happen. But um. But that's about it. Uh, what else was there? Uh, ideas that I had. Um, can't really think of any more. I, I think I had a lot more, but I just can't think of them right now. But um, but yeah, I definitely enjoy doing these challenges, and it's a lot of fun to think of something or hear an idea from you guys. It's like, oh yeah, that would be awesome. I can't wait to do that. Uh, the only challenges I don't like. Uh, that don't really get me excited. Oh, nice goal by the defenseman there. 2-1 now defense. But um, but anyway, uh, the only challenges that don't really like get me all hyped up are the uh, the ones that involve me having to make all these players like that 99 overall goalie and zero or 36 overall skaters against 99 skaters and 36 goalie. Because it's just so much creating players and stuff like that. I mean, you don't have to personalize each and every player. All you have to do is name them something funny. Like, I, I'm naming all my players pretty bad. Uh, all the bad ones. And then the other ones will probably be, like, pretty good. <laughs> so, I just, you know, I don't know. Just something, you know, simple. Uh, and then, you know, either lowering all their attributes and raising them. Which actually can take a long time. Um, but yeah, I, it is a challenge I still want to do. It would just take a lot of time, but, um, which is hard for me to have all the time to do these because of, you know, I do work, I take online classes and, um, and then there's also, um, you know, the editing that's involved in these. This one, I probably won't put through Adobe Premiere because, uh, I don't think I'll need to make that many cuts to it except for the one where uh, there was some background noise outside in the hallway. But um, but other than that, I mean, that's just one thing to cut. That doesn't. That's not that big of a deal. But um, but edit. But just rendering through Adobe Premiere can take a very long time, and it's a pain. And also, it takes a long time from uh, a video that involves a webcam in Elgato. It takes a long time to export that, so, which sucks, but it is what it is. I wonder if the forwards though, are going to end up tying this game. I know I barely talked about this game, but uh, I'm not a good commentator, so you guys don't want to hear me commentate this game. Uh-oh. Oh, the forwards are going on a power play. I want to see what happened, though, because I did not see. This could be a big, big, big situation. We'll see what will happen here. Oh yeah, that was that was pretty blatant. All right, Ekblad takes the penalty. You see that fan? Jeez, his face. It's quite frightening. All right, Stamkos 
will take the face off. He lost, though. That's all right. Like how they got Malkin on D, and he's on the Penguins. So they just moved him to defense. But he's probably one of the lesser players. I wonder what they did like to decide it, because I didn't set the lines up. I just moved the players. I didn't pick who would play where. I think I did for the defense team, though, on a couple. Like, I think I had Subban play offense and, like, Brent Burns. Is it Brent Burns or Brett? I can't remember what it is. One of those two. I think it's Brent Burns, I think. I can't remember. But, um, yeah, I don't know who's going to win this game. I mean, the power play's going quick because we have it on four-minute periods. Oh, man. Who's that? Who's number four? Tavares, and then the, there's Perry. I heard Perry has, like, a pretty bad attitude, though. Like, a lot of people don't like him. I don't remember if it's his attitude or if it... I don't remember why. Is he, like, a diver? That might have been what it was. Um, what else was there about him? I don't know. I just heard he was, like, a diver or something like that. Or a whiner. I don't know what it was. But I know a lot of people don't like him too much. I thought he was, like, a really quiet guy. I thought he was, you know... He didn't really talk too much. I thought Getzloff was a good player, like a nice guy too, especially after I saw one of the, oh man, that was almost a goal. I saw like some prank he did where he dressed up as a fan and it was actually pretty funny, but a lot of people complain about him. Uh, or, did I say Getzloff? I meant to say Kessler. I don't know who I said. I meant Kessler though. No, Getzloff, everyone loves. Um, Kessler's like, or uh, Getzloff's like not a problem at all. Everyone loves Getzloff. He looks like he would be a mean guy, but he's actually very nice. Like I remember seeing a video of like some fight that broke out, and he was like helping a teammate or someone on the other team get out of the scrum, and it was actually pretty funny. I was like, wow, that's really good. Uh, that's a uh, really classy, good sportsmanship. But the defense ended up taking this game and. I will, uh, I guess, say what the result was the last time I tried this challenge. Um, the defense won that one, too, but it was 5-4, to four, I think, was the final score. So there was a lot more scoring in that one. But this one was close. 2-1 to one was the final. It definitely ended a little bit in a nail-biter. But, um, but that's going to do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys have any ideas for any other challenges, be sure to drop them in the comments down below. And who knows, your idea could become a challenge on the channel. But don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.